This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us about the birth of Blessed Virgin Mary like this. God sent forth his son, but to prepare a body for him, he wanted the free cooperation of a creature. For this, from all eternity, God chose for the mother of his son, a daughter of Israel, a young Jewish woman of Nazareth in Galilee. A virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. The Father of Mercies willed that the Incarnation should be preceded by ascend on the part of the predestined mother, so that just as a woman who had a share in the coming of death, so also should a woman contribute to the coming of life. CCC 488 The birth of Christ makes the dawning of our redemption. Our redemption came after the death and resurrection of Jesus. But Blessed Virgin Mary, through God's special grace to her, the mother of his son, has redeemed before her birth. And she remained a virgin till her death. Mary conceived and gave birth to Jesus from the Holy Spirit. In the Gospel, we see what Angel Gabriel tells to Saint Joseph. Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Matthew chapter 1 verses 20 to 21 These verses reveal the entire plan of redemption. Mary stands out among the poor and humble of the Lord who confidently hope for and receive salvation from Him. After a long period of waiting, the times are fulfilled in her. The exalted daughter of Zion and the new plan of salvation is established.